That hunt for October is one that begins with every team holding out belief that this could be their year. The reality that will sort itself out over the following eight months is that only a select few truly can make good on that promise. In Miami, a long layoff has given a proud and fiercely competitive franchise time to reflect and reload. For the first time in a long time, the Heat missed the postseason, giving fans perhaps an even and greater appreciation for just how good times were not so long ago. But unlike those who spend years trying to reshape a lottery-bound roster, the Heat put themselves back into immediate contention with a summer filled with significance. A mixture of draft day fortune and focus in free agency has helped the Heat get younger, deeper, better, and stronger almost overnight. Some resigned, while others simply and so thankfully returned. 20 men now assemble themselves to begin the journey. Charlotte will provide the first test both now and when the games count for real in less than a month. Prepare for preseason. Tonight starts an eight-game preseason for the Miami Heat as we welcome you back inside the American Airlines Arena. Tonight, the Heat take on the Charlotte Hornets, who won their preseason opener a night ago in Orlando. And we always hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us. The 28th season of Miami Heat basketball. And with the 23rd consecutive year, you'll see it all right here on Fox Sports Sun. Scott Foster, Benny Adams, and Kevin Cutler. And we've been waiting five months to say this. Off we go on another Miami Heat NBA preseason adventure. Hey! Nice move by Bosch. Sealed and scored. Uh, excellent pass from Luol Dang. It's an opener for the Heat. And welcome back, Chris Bosch. The nice finger roll after sealing his man in the paint. Ball can shoot from out there. Four point lead for Charlotte. Just over four minutes to go on the first. Look out below! With force, Amari Stoudemire's first score. Oh, this year's the pick and roll with Drogic. You got the pick and roll. It's a slip by Stoudemire. Good read by, by uh, Drogic. And the great finish by Amari. Showing you his range, Kaminsky tripling. You see Coach Clifford set up that play in the timeout for, for uh, Kaminsky to make that, take that three. Winslow tries in, scores for the left hand. First basket for the rookie at a Duke. Got it this one. It will improve. Guys like him, when they have to work on one particular skill and have the time and the staff to help them, will improve with that sort of skill. Good takeaway by Gerald Green. Got it back and converts with the foul. Ah, you saw the pogo stick. <laughs> Ability of Gerald Green. He jumped in the air, hung in the air, drew the foul, got the finger roll. Off the Heat's defense. Good job getting in there on Lynn. And then a good pass inside. There's something else Winslow brings to the game. Very smart player, knows how to play. Wade let him just a little too much on the play. Winslow's athleticism came in. Dwayne Wade through the back door for the score. Yeah, through the legs, the pass. Way to get the ball to Wade between the legs. We know what D-Wade knows, how, what knows what to do with it. Finish at the rim the way he's done in 12-plus career, uh, years in his career. It was Heat Hall of Famer Alonzo Mourning still with the organization that put that thought uh, in Whiteside's head to try to beat focus on winning the Defensive Player of the Year award. Bosch with a terrific shot. He's done nothing but make shots, and he'll go to the line with 11 first half points. I think he had three defenders around him that time. The soft touch, the backspin on the shot. Let's see what we have. Well, two guys were on him. And the backspin on the ball. 
allows it to be a soft shot and gives it a chance to go in. When we have the Heat basketball camp. Defense by Winslow. Rebound from Dang. And here comes Dwayne. Yes! And the foul on Marvin Williams. From behind the backboard. <laughs> Tough shot. He took the hit. And he shot it from behind the backboard. He's got potential three-point play. Watch it again. He want to run. You see, his arm was... His, his body was behind the backboard, but his arm was... Walker coming right. And Dragic picked his pocket. This is Winslow. Yes, sir! A big, strong body going to the basket. Fight over the screen twice there. The lob by McRoberts. Screen converts. Oh, Stoudemire thought it was for him. But the pass went over. Thinks it's for him. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The steal from Green, and watch this. Eric, I think the expectations would be that Stoudemire and Green can have his double figures off the bench. Miski turns his back on the play. And Green with the acrobatic dunk, and then you have to the game. They will end the game with the 90 to 77 victory. Hornets getting terrific play from three point guards. Brian Roberts with 21. Adamire all had 12. Well, that walk down championship alley to the Heat dressing room after tonight's 13 point loss in the preseason opener. Last week in Boca, almost never miss. And Tony tonight, he made his first three shots, finishes with 14.7 rebounds and 23 very well played minutes. He was so impressive in training camp as if he never left. You expect him to be rusty, maybe a little hesitant with the uh, physical ailment that he had, with the blood clot. 32 years old, been in the league 14 years, but he was so active around the basket. He gets, he's like a little bit like Udonis, where he's, he's always going to the boards. He, we know when he catches the ball inside, he has those real good inside skills. He can make the mid-range jumper, but he's a strong, tough guy that works very, very hard, takes a, a really good care of his body. And uh, he's a guy that, as we mentioned earlier, I think he'd have wanted to play maybe around 16, 18 minutes a game to preserve those knees of his. And uh, he did play well tonight. Final score again tonight in the preseason opener for the Heat, Charlotte 90, Miami 77. We'll see you again next Monday, October 12th. Heat and Spurs, our coverage begins promptly at 7.30. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. On behalf of our entire crew, including my colleagues, Tony Fiorentino and Jason Jackson, I'm Eric Reed, all happy to be back. Thank you for watching.